real, real tough player. I wonder who. Dennis Lazovic, Jan Krzysztof Duda. Yu Yang Yi has had a great tournament. And we've got the young, well, for many people, unknown quantity. Dennis Lazovic, a real, real tough player. I wonder who he's going to play in round five. Be really interesting well, Lawrence, to see it. Lawrence, the, there is uh, still action on the board. Neiman is fighting for victory. I think this is against Manuel Petrosian. And uh, Hans Neiman here, he's got an extra pawn as white. Black is struggling here. The Black King is so far away. White has a two versus one pawn advantage. Very strong protected pass pawn, that F pawn. He's going to start pushing it forward. He's going to bring his king in. But uh, if the Black King gets back towards the king side in time, towards those pawns, maybe drawing chances. Has Neiman missed the moment? He's indecisively retreating his knight. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's going the whole way back. Surely now the Black King is in the vicinity of his pawns. He should be able to hold this now. I think Hans has gone in the wrong direction with his king, with his knight, and uh, should be safety. The position repeating itself. Got to be careful not to walk into a threefold repetition here. Hans needs to find something else. I think he's blown it. He was winning when we joined this. Ooh. And wow, giving up his knight, gambling on his past pawns here, Hans Niemann. He's got to push forward. But the black knight is stopping those pawns from advancing. And suddenly, who's winning? What is the result? Hans retreats. Knight f7, surely. Knight f7. Knight f7 yeah, was Hans Trump. panicking down to one oh. second when he made that move. The Black King is coming round. I think we've seen a complete turnaround. Hans is losing. Losing. Suddenly the Black King is winning it's the race. He's going to take that white pawn and Hans resigns. Blowing a completely winning endgame. Wow. What a turnaround. Hans Neiman and a big uh, smile there by Petrosian. Hans Neiman disgusted with himself. He gambled because he had to win. He felt like he had to push in that position, but it all went horribly wrong. Hans Niemann, still plenty of chess.